So that's what that cable does. But my bad, guys. Uh, Chad, I hope you're hanging in there. I just wanted to, to amplify the tension. I just wanted you guys to wait a little bit, a little teaser. Anyways, as I was saying before, I kicked out that very crucial cable, apparently. Wheat, I hate to break it to you. I feel like scale is going to come out. I mean, best of seven, even with the map advantage for Rafa. I just feel like we're going to see scale whether you like it or not. I know it makes your blood boil, but that's that's where we're heading, I feel like. Maybe even DK, that old bag of bones. But I, I think uh, you're going to see something you may not like. I mean, you know, it's fine, uh, to be honest with you. It just means that the player who's playing him is going to lose that map. So I don't I don't mind seeing <laughs> Look, the scale there. I, I just feel like Rafa, you know, he was watching the stream probably. He heard you like, hey, you know, no matter what, whoever plays scale is going to lose. And he, again, like Jordan, he took that personally. So we might see it, maybe not. But uh, uh, Flea, how are you thinking about it? I mean, I, I'm afraid I've got to break it to you, but I've got a, a preemptive look at the picks and pans already, Ooh. and Scale you in there? is Who not you going in there? to be played. Of they course! Clearly, they clearly listened to DJ Wheat, and Rafa was like, Curses. of course, Scale is trash. Why was I even considering this champion? So uh, thank you very much, Wheat. But no, it looks like the big man, the Galactic Warlord, isn't going to come out to play, although we, of course, have to wait for the official picks and bans to show up soon. Is it the well, sandals? Is that what you don't like, Wheat? You can What's be honest that? with me. Is it the sandals that he wears? Is that what it is? I, I, is that what really okay, grinds your gears? Okay, here's the here's the, there, I there's something about scales ability, and I think that it gives players they you know in the right hands it can be deadly. It's it's nasty, right? We actually saw it in a couple of the you know the the you know a couple of the matches today, but. I also saw like so many matches where someone would hit the bull rush and then scale would just like run around in circles <laughs> or like run straight into a wall. And I'm just like, oh man, you know, like, and maybe it's because maybe there's a little bit of self reflection, right? Like maybe there's a, like, that's exactly the kind of shit that would happen to me. And so, <laughs> no, no, just say no. Uh, but I don't know. It, it, on one hand, I think it's hilarious. On the other hand, I'm just like, why? Why don't do it? So either way. Either that's way, fair. that's um, that's fair. It's, we, the the grand finals obviously coming up in just a moment. A best of seven between Rafa and Razy. Rafa coming from the winner bracket and Razy fighting his way through the lower bracket. Uh, what is bound to be a great great matchup here, gentlemen. We're we're moments away. So chat. I also want to as we get started and as we get ready to hop into this game, I want you to use those channel points. Right. I want you to highlight. A message and every message during this, because I know you're sitting on millions right now. Highlight every message, but most importantly, highlight who you want to see win this grand finals for the QPL stage one finals. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see if they actually do that. But I know they're sitting on a lot of points, 40. Oh, yeah. Well, some people, some people have some. lost it all. All those yeah. people that bet on that one map that Razy took, they're just, you know, in shambles right now. But yeah. it happens, all right? That's, that's, that's the problem sometimes. So, But, yeah, let's see some highlighted messages. I don't see any. Okay, there we they're go. They're coming good. through. They're good, coming good, through. Good. And good. guess what? We've got a little treat before the Grand Finals. Joining us are two competitors. They have fought so hard all weekend long and do throughout the duration of Stage 1. Please welcome Razy and Rafa. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hey. How you guys doing? Nice going? to be here again. So I just want to, you know, I know we're going into a finals matchup, but I would love to ask each of you, you know, reflecting on, on stage one here of the second season, we've just seen so much, right? We've seen players improve. Uh, we've seen some uh, individual accomplishments, but I'd love to ask each of you, you know, as you reflect back, how are you feeling about your stage one performance overall? And Rafa, I'll start with you. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, man. It can't get much closer to perfect than what, you know, what, I, what I've done so far. But I think what's been nice about it is it's just, it's been really difficult to do so. And uh, it's just, it's taking, you know, the best of me each and every single time to try to win. Like, uh, I mean, look, just look at the games today, you know, that I had to play against Razy and Kilson. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, he was talking about it beforehand, but now this is what the third grand final we're going to be in in the Quake Pro League against each other. Yep. Um, and I think just a testament to him who didn't have as much of a Quake background as some of the other players in the Pro League, how far he's come. I think that's what drives me to play even better is just because of how good that he's gotten. And hopefully I can do that again today. 
And Razy, I ask you the same question, kind of reflecting back, you know, you've been through a lot in QPL uh, and ever since the kickoff, really, how are you feeling about your performance overall in stage one? Yeah, I can't complain too much. I uh, There were a few matches I wish I had done better in, but uh, overall it's it's fine. And here I am again, as Rafa said, for the third time against him throughout the QPLs. So maybe third time's the charm. <laughs> maybe third time is maybe. the charm. Yeah, you kind of already both touched on my question, but I just wanted to say that there's a lot of respect between the both of you, right? Such a long history. And how do you feel about yet another matchup against the same person? Is it going to be Rafa again, Razy? Third time the charm? It's gonna hurt for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just look at it like when the last tournament was over, it's done. You gotta prove yourself again. So, you know, that's what I'm here to do today and I know he's trying to do the same so it's a fresh start it's gonna be a really good game all right well I don't want to take up much more of your time but what I want to do is a little bit different why don't you guys say one nice thing about each other before we get into it <laughs> go on go ahead <laughs> what am I supposed to say here for the world yeah. is waiting the world is waiting he's a very polite kid he's really good <laughs> <laughs> okay Razor, what do you got uh he's insanely skillful and I respect him a lot I don't know what Man, his was way better than yours, Rafa. Damn. Wow. It was. <laughs> All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. I know that you're getting in the mindset and preparing for this grand finals. We just want to say thank you for giving us this with some great, great entertainment all weekend long and here in the grand finals. And good luck to you both. Thanks, Week. Thank you. Take care. All right. Well, we'll uh, give them a little bit of time. Both incredibly humble players. You can just feel the respect uh, between the two. And, you know, sometimes we, we look at these matchups and we see, you know, this is the third time they've played and we want to call it rivals. And, and maybe it is. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I love that we've got some old blood versus new blood. And, you know, I don't even know if any point you call Razy new blood anymore. He's earned his spot in, uh, you know, amongst many other great Quake legends that we have seen over the years. Yeah, yeah. just so unbelievably consistent, always knocking on the door. Hopefully for him, this might be the one where he breaks out and gets his name on that belt. But, man, I am really ashamed of Rafa and his compliment game. Good thing his Quake game isn't as weak as that. But, I mean, yeah, it should be a fantastic game. These guys have met each other countless times. It should be an exciting one. Well, yeah. yeah. They oh, both know ahead, each please. other very well. Not much to add to that, really. I mean, the Quake competitive scene, it's quite small, but you can tell that these players, they go back years and years. They know each other in and out. So much experience playing against each other, so much respect. And now all of that is going to culminate in the apex of stage one, the finals. Rafa Razy once again. This one is for the history books. It is, and it is time now to reveal the picks and bands for this best of seven grand final. I got a lot of writing to do here. Uh, Awoken, too. Corrupted Keep, Molten Falls, Blood Covenant, Ruins, and Deep Embrace, the possibly the final map, Tower of Koth, Peace, no love at all. Well, I guess it does get love. Rafa just kind of took that one from being from the upper bracket. Uh, Flea, I go to you. What do you think about what we see here? Uh, indeed, no scale bearer being played. Best of seven is quite a surprise. It's actually Razy who banned the scale at some point, deeming him such a threat in Rafa's capable hands that he didn't want to go up against him. And Rafa, of course, repaying the kindness by taking care of that clutch right off the bat. Doesn't want to risk trying to finesse that champion with the Athena once more. So we're kicking it off on Awoken. Moving into Corrupted Keep, Molten Falls, Blood Covenant, Ruins, and Deep Embrace, meaning that the only map that we might be missing out on is Tower of Cough that was taken away off the bat. I'm just skimming all of the information because there's so many champion yeah, picks. Yeah, there is. So many interesting matchups. Deep Embrace, the keel saved till the very end. Death Knight is even coming out to play. Rafa gets his beloved Slash. Razy gets to <coughs> run the Sorlag and the Nyx. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Yeah, I don't really see any major imbalances. I think this is a fairly even pick ban phase for both players. And it, it just looks crazy. Can it go the the distance? I mean, we haven't really gotten one. We've gotten a couple of the earlier sets that have gone to distance. But can you guys imagine the grand finals, the biggest stage, and we go all the way? That would be 
absolutely fantastic. That would be amazing. I'll say one map that I'm especially interested in is number two, or uh, I mean, technically three, right? But Corrupted Keep. Um, I do think that Rafa has played BJ in a very, very beautiful way on that map. And I, you know, I know that Razy is no slouch there. So I'll be interested to see that uh, BJ Galena matchup on Corrupted Keep. I think that will be a real interesting one. Molten Falls is also shaking up to be quite the map. Rafa playing Athena, champion that he plays extremely well, but that I haven't seen him use on Molten Falls very often. She's just not that popular on a pick on Molten Falls. You usually see her more on maps like Blood Covenant, but that is going to be Light Champion versus Light, Athena versus Nyx. Not that many places where you can really make use of that wall jump really you can get across the the heavy bounce pad easily but other than that it's all about that evasiveness and the invisibility so i think that that is again going to be one hell of a brawl yeah well, this one could be ahead. absolutely insane that's all i was gonna say was this one could be absolutely insane i mean razy he's got to be a little fatigued but he's just got to find some something left to try and overpower rafa and you know become the god slayer reincarnate so just as a quick recap, because a few people are asking in chat, why does Rafa have a map win? That is your uh, award, basically, for making it all the way through the upper bracket without losing. Instead of playing double elimination, uh, the individual coming from the upper bracket just gets a map win. So we technically start this with a map win, 1-0 in favor of Rafa. Gentlemen, before we officially start, do you want to throw your predictions out or do you just want to let chat do it for us? I mean, I yep. saw some chat predictions. I can't see it anymore, but at the beginning, at least, it was very heavily in favor of Rafa. Personally, that is something that I'm inclined to agree with. You would just about be out of your mind to not vote for the man with this kind of track record, the champion of the entire first season of the Quake Pro League. And Razy yeah. during the interview didn't seem that confident either. No, he didn't, but that could all change in game. The map two winner uh, has Rafa at 77% and Razy at 23. So we'll see uh, who gets their points and who doesn't flee. We're going to send you to the QPL suite to watch the games. There's snacks and drinks and a huge screen up there to watch it on. So enjoy your time up there. We will uh, come back and uh, get your thoughts after this match is over. Thank you. Excellent. See you, 40, boy. it's you and me, buddy. You ready? We did it. We made it. We're finally here. Yeah, real quick before we get into it, I just want to say, you know, growing up watching you, you're an inspiration. This is going to be fantastic. I can't believe I'm about to cast a grand final with elderly Kurt Cobain. So let's get into it. Awesome. Best of five. I want everyone in chat hype. This could go all the way. Rafa versus Razy. We've seen it before, but this is for the belt. Razy wants to etch his name in history. Rafa just wants to ascend even higher than he already has. I'm very, very excited for this one. We are getting ready for our first map. It's on Awoken. And, uh, you know, I think that more than anything, uh, people just hope we don't necessarily get a repeat of, right? We want the rematch, but just not the repeat of what we saw the last time. I would love to see this one go the distance just because it means we're going to have the most amazing quake set that we've probably seen in a very very long time but both these players so strong anything could happen and we are about to jump in after three days 39 matches here it is the grand final and the qpl stage one finals awoken corrupted keep molten blood covenant ruins and deep are the map pool and we are about to go live 40 lions why don't you kick us off Let's get it underway right now. Rafa's going to start off right on that Mega with the Doom Slayer jumping into the T-Con, grabbing the 50 shard. Early pressure here with the machine gun is Razy with the moves right now to get out of danger. Very important there. Could have gotten pinned. Rafa's going to get the LG in the tribal. Both players want to make sure they have all the weapons at their disposal as that rail almost connects with Rafa. The jump pad has to be very careful for Razy. The spit comes out to try and deter Rafa. He's going to pick up a little bit of dot damage, but a 25 is going to negate that immediately. So nothing too crazy yet. We good rail from yeah. Razy. Yeah, a great opening rail from Razy, kind of giving him that first uh, window of opportunity. Responding right back is Rafa as he shoots through that murder hole, puts in an order and a nice rocket hitting there. Oh, another nice rail coming out through the teleporter. 
Crazy goes and he is running very, very low. Trapped in the light armor room. Is he off oh. the map? He is, and it doesn't even count for Rafa. Razy now negative one to start off the match. Not the greatest uh, way to, to begin. Yeah, you, you figured the Sorlag would be able to swim, but no dice. Negative one for Razy. That's a rough start. Rafa looking to extend as always. Great tri bolt there. A little bit of a triple he has. The LG's gonna pin Razy up against the wall to spit. The back pedal to get him out of there, but he's still so weak. Rafa he just has to read this right. There's the double jump. The double jump again Ooh. with the trade. Razy juggling him with the rockets. That's a fantastic play from Razy. Yeah, honestly, I think that trade is great for Razy. I, I mean, quite good using that double shock in the same way that Rafa does, but Rafa off the spawn grabs an RL and a shoddy and he manages to get his second frag. But Razy's no longer in the negatives. That trade did work out quite well. I'm still surprised he was able to win that one. Another rail from the same location by Rafa as Razy is jumping across, and that's the second time that he has hit that one, uh, landing more damage for the top. A direct rocket from the mid-level. He can't go up this, this jump pad, and Rafa just seems to have complete zoning control right now here on Awoken. Really, really good control from Rafa, and Razy's in a bad way right now. Getting whatever items he can, but the majors go to Rafa here. So he's a two for two with Shotty Pippen trying to extend it. There's one rail, could close this one out. A little bit of tickle on the way out. Razy just trying to get out for dear life again. It feels like nonstop pressure from Rafa, aside from the trade early on. Could catch him out. There's the spit. It actually propels Rafa forward, but he doesn't want to chase anymore. Using the 25 to mitigate the spit damage and also grab the 50 shard and the heavy, just taking everything away from the map. Razy's gonna get caught out with the LG and the Tcon trying to do some damage. The shotgun will end him again. 3-0 for Rafa and oh look, a mega. Yeah, you know, I mean, the spit is coming out at all the right times, Forty, but unfortunately, Rafa is ready for it, grabs a health bubble, uh, you know, negates it, versus really the mobility of Doom that has played a huge, huge uh, factor here. We got an LG battle near the heavy. Is Rafa going to go in for it? He does a rocket jump out. Great escape coming out by Razy. He's going to drop the spit on top of that jump pad, ticking away, but the mega is up. However, Rafa can not chase. He is going to go back and grab the light, but Razy lives to see another day. Oh, but it's not going to last too long here as the LG is going to tickle him. Razy with literally nothing. Six HP. How is he still alive? Wow. Rafa with 88, though. Very, very careful. Doesn't want to give anything away. Misses with the rail. Razy still just hanging on by a thread. I mean, very, very low. Does pick up a few health bubbles. And Rafa seems completely fine disengaging as long as he stays with the map control. He's uh, pretty much rolling both of the major items. And uh, another time that Crazy gets stopped inside the light armor room. He does manage to fend off that attack with a spit and Rafa loses his entire stack. But look at Razy, still so low. Very little health and armor. And, you know, just can't restack the way that he needs to in, in order to go up against Rafa. Rails exchange for both players, not landing. That's a big rocket in the rail for Razy. This should be the turning of the tide, and the nice. LG is going to be enough. Razy puts himself on the board officially, three to one with plenty of time left. It was nicely done. Razy did need to get on the board after that negative one start. It's going to be a second oh, frag baby. game. Spit comes out, and Razy gets another kill. That time, Spit comes in huge. Nothing for Rafa to do to be able to stop that, but off the spawn, he will grab that heavy. Gets himself a rail, and once again, ooh, a rocket battle over near the Mega, and it is going to be a machine gun to clean it up. Now, this seems to be like a good opportunity for Rafa to potentially convert another frag here. He does get the Mega. He's got a good idea on exactly where Razy is. A rail from above on top of the noggin of Razy and Rafa. Uh, a very, very nice after suffering that second frag. LG on LG and he melts that dinosaur. She's going to be extinct here as Rafa wins out that heavy and that combo off the spawn almost hit. That would have been terrifying. Razy trying to fight for his life here. LG on LG rages on again, but Rafa's going to come out onto the mega for free, and he's going to grab this lower shard. And every time he gets in a fight, he's just pac manning these items as best as he can. He'll take all the damage he wants, because there's always going to be lights, there's always going to be the majors, and he just has such good control of the map here. Razy has to do his best to try and break it. We've seen him string together fantastic damage to get the frag, but 
right now just missing out on the opportunities. Yeah, I think most of those frags from Razy uh, have really come from a close corner battle, but uh, that's not exactly what Rafa is setting up every single time. Taking a lot of tick damage here, but the LG does go out. Oh, and nicely played by Razy. He knew that the Mega was about to spawn. He stayed there, stood his ground. It was a wise decision. It spawns, giving him the advantage in that battle, and now he is just down by two. Yeah, full commitment there from Rafa. Didn't pay off, couldn't get the kill before the Mega here. Is Razy taking a lot of damage from that LG. He needs to be careful Whoa! on the rocket splash. He wanted to peek one more time and Rafa knew it. And he says, no, no, no. Six to three for Rafa. Oh, I think that was such a key frag there. You know, kind of an unforced error coming out on behalf of Razy. Making his climb a little bit harder. Six minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. There's still a lot of time here. Those long distance rails hitting it again for Rafa. This lands a nice one up the jump pad. Raised he goes. Unfortunately, the LG is locked for him. And Rafa picks up frag number seven with these. Oh no, it almost catches him off. That's a great rail. And the play is not the telly. And he's going to get caught out and just electrified yet again as Rafa just starting to snowball. This is so dangerous. Mega goes to Razy, but can Rafa land the damage? He's weak, but he still wants more. Razy looking decent, but he doesn't really have any weapons to fight oh. back with. And Rafa just keeps stringing these rails along up 9-3 now. Yeah, and suddenly the momentum really, really shifting into the favor of Rafa. He had a great start. Uh, Razy not so much with that unfortunate fly off of the map. But Razy's not going to give up yet. You know, impossible. Uh, not impossible, but improbable. Yeah, likely. Uh, right now, Rafa is hitting his very, very nice rail. Both players at about a 41%, but the LG is where the tail is told. 2,200 damage from Rafa with that LG. He's looking to tack on even more here. As he gets Razy again, Razy just trying to do anything he can. He has to get back into this. He has to start taking those kind of risks. 11 to three with two minutes left. I mean, this is just easy for Rafa. The Ooh. switch to Shoddy Pippen actually won't convert. Razy does get that nail gun frag, but he's still down seven. He's got a lot of work to do. That's a really good start with that rocket into the Mega as he grabs it. He has to chase through the banana. Rafa going for the oh. punches. No dice. Razy has a shotgun of his own. Yeah, that might work against other players, but not this time. Of course, off the fra uh, off the spawn, Rafa does pick up the frag, the few bullets from his machine gun, and uh, 90 seconds remaining. Rafa is going to solidify this first official map win pretty heavily with a about an eight frag lead right now. Razy's going to take that down and shave one off there. Six. Apparently, I can't add. Or else frags are worth two. I don't know. Rockets Addition coming out hard, of 40. <laughs> math is hard. Don't math on stream. And Razy is uh, low. And at this point, you know, I think you've got to be mentally preparing for this next matchup. I think Sorlag did a good job, but mobility won over utility here on Awoken. And I have to say, LG was the big decider in this one. Just huge damage from Rafa from the LG. Also, the rail as well. Great rail again as Razy. Should absolutely just use this time to mentally reset, consider it a timeout, uh, keep playing a little bit, keep getting your hands warm, do whatever you got to do. But this one's in the bag for Rafa and, you know, don't don't let it, uh, I guess, cripple you going forward in terms of being down 2-0 already. Because, you know, in a blink of an eye, Rafa had that map advantage. It is a huge huge hole to dig yourself out of especially after razy has been through so many grueling matches already but yeah unless here he is he's got to do it there's no choice the time is now in the punch rafa putting his exclamation point on it Whew. dunks on him and uh, rafa is not messing around right now that was like five exclamation points 40 that is like when you're typing that tweet and you're like i'm gonna be excited and put no not one five exclamation points and a cheeky way to end the matchup but a solid one Indeed, and that means that map number two goes to Rafa 13 to 6 on that one. Rafa only needs two to take the stage one championship back, put his name on that belt, and grab a share of that hundred thousand dollars. However, Razy, look, he's been down before, he knew going into this what he was going to have to accomplish. I really do think his mentality throughout the entire weekend has been uh, quite solid. Looked very headstrong, so I am not counting him out by any means at all. 
However, I will sound the alarm for it because as I mentioned during the pre-show, I think that Rafa has been playing his best corrupted keep games this weekend with BJ. And uh, I just, am, you know, like it's a scary thing. I, I went to sleep last night. I had a couple of nightmares um, because he just plays it uh, very surgically um, in that uh, in that regard. And so I want to see what Razy can bring with this Galena. Yeah, up close and personal, Corrupted Keep is such a small map. Those dual wield shotguns will absolutely haunt your dreams, Weed, so I don't blame you. Uh, Razy's in store for a treat. He's got to play this perfectly. He does have the Galena, which could help a little bit. Maybe get some overstack, but on a map this small, it's not so much the overstack as it is just the pocket heal, using it mid-fight to heal up and just inch out the fight as best you can, survive with whatever, and just keep it going from there. But, I mean, Rafa, just no signs of stopping right now. He's got the momentum. He's just hungry for his name on that belt again. And Razy just uh, down two already is going to be so rough to dig yourself out of. It is. It's it's tough, and it's happened before. We've seen the reverse sweep in uh, in in Quake many many times. Again, not very often. And when it happens, it is glorious. And it often comes down to is the opponent capable of doing it. And I still stand by the statement that I think yes, Razy is capable. Of course, a very difficult opponent. Um, you know, always knew this was going to be a tough mountain to climb. But the storyline that Rafa is building is pretty incredible in and of itself. Won the Quake World Championships, that final stage four. This would be his third QPL championship win. That would be pretty impressive. And you know, he said it before, he likes to win. He, he hates losing. If you're not he first, you're losing. last. He, he lives by that motto and always will. Uh, Razy has to play this perfectly. He needs a good start. He can't get caught off guard. The, again, the dual wheel shotgun right off the bat could be a possibility. He has to kind of prepare for that off spawn pressure right when the game starts, but well within the realm of possibilities for Razy to take this, gain control, and start winning these maps back. He's more than capable. I think it might be able to happen, but it has to start right now on Corrupted Keep. A tough road ahead, but this could be the storyline, right? He's down. He takes the first map off. Rafa gets knocked into the lower bracket, already down two maps, and then he starts building back up, and if he somehow takes this series wheat, this will go down in the history books as quite possibly the greatest run ever because he's taken down look at the trail of bodies what is it to hang base cypher kilson and then you top yeah. that off after all of that with rafa it would just be absolutely incredible it would absolutely be uh it, it would be an incredible thing to to witness here uh, especially considering that the first frag of this entire series was Razy falling off of the map. Uh, it's time to turn it around, and we're about to join up here, Corrupted Keep, and see how this is going to go down. What I'm looking for here is, you know, Razy, obviously item control, but uh, I think that LG and his totem management is going to be uh, what this map is going to be all about. We've seen Rafa be a complete bully, but we're going to look through Razy's eyes here as we kick this match off. Expect a lot of machine gun sets to just wear down the stacks of these opponents, and we are officially live. Let's see if we can kind of have a throwback to Razy's keep, or if it's going to be more like Rafa's rec room here as the dual wield pops already. Down goes the totem just to heal him back up to 100 HP. And Razy survives. He gets out of that horrible situation. Rafa stacks so huge already. Good defensive rocket here. As the 50 shard goes to Razy, evens it out a little bit. Good LG catching Rafa off guard. The rocket pop won't save him, and Razy will be able to take the first frag. Nicely done. He's going to get the heavy as a result. Rafa off to spawn will get that mega. But there it was, starting things off. I definitely do not want to see Razy let Rafa try to control from that middle area with that LG. He's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe once again, and it pays off 2-0 to zero already. Razy starting things off here very nicely. Out of the teleporter, wow. Rafa comes and the double machine guns for the kill, but he's very low. Just so brutal when he pops that dual wield. Razy not able to hit the string of LG he needs. He might get a huge shotgun blast here. Make it two, make it almost three. He misses. Ooh. Oh, the fourth one bails him out. So close to going down. Razy has to be really careful. Rafa knows that he's weak and he wants to try and aggress on this. Razy's going to stack back up off the two bubbles in the red room. No major item for about 10 seconds. Does have a totem in the pocket. Rafa smells blood. There's another shotgun into oh. totem and Razy converts. I like this. A little bit of uh, Rafa medicine is 
you know, definitely he favors that uh, super shotgun, but Razy's using it in a great way. Kind of uh, surprising Rafa now at least twice in two of those frags that he has gotten. And it's just absolutely been devastating Rafa cleaning up a few of those totems, but Razy waiting in the light room. Another totem dropped, and we've got heavy in about seven seconds. Razy. I think he knows the timing better than Rafa does, and he's going to scoop in and steal that away. Rocket does do some damage on his exit from Rafa, but the scoop over to the Mega. It is up, and it is grabbed, and Rafa does an incredible amount of damage. Razy is hurt and bad, and he does go down to Rafa, making it 2-4. to four. Oh, and this is so rough off the spawn. A little bit of a tickle there. He wants to take out the totem first. Doubles back and catches Razy out. Almost gets the frag. Both players incredibly weak. Rafa looking to get that dual wield back up as soon as he can. It's been so fantastic so far, especially off the spawn when he knows that Razy's weak. Slowing down ever so gently now. And there it is, the double shotguns here. A little bit of rocket damage. Can't quite find it, but Rafa secures the mega with that dual wield, so not all is lost. A little bit of tri -bolt, unfortunately, won't land. So things slowing down here. Three minutes in, four to two. It's hectic, Weed. It's hectic. It is hectic. Uh, it's hectic. And I think, you know, Rafa's uh, dropping that dual wheel, just like you said, to kind of secure an area. And hold on, we got an aerial battle with rockets happening here at the heavy. Heavy's picked up by Rafa, raising incredibly low. He's going to back up, pick up a 25, drop a totem to heal back up. He's got zero armor stack. And right now, Mega is up. Is Razy going to be able to make his way over there? It does look not look like he will be able to. And right now, he is hurting. Rafa heading over to the only other light as uh, Razy's going to need to drop down and grab it here. And it is up. And he is very thankful that that is there as uh, it moves on to the other side. And uh, Razy going to pick up these hourglasses so he can keep these totems up. But Rafa's doing a good job clearing them out. Yeah, picking them up as he goes. But Razy should be able to play a little more aggressive. I mean, the stack isn't there necessarily in comparison to Rafa. And he is going to concede the Mega, but he has to know the dual wield is down. That gives him a slight opening, depending on the damage. There it is. A little bit of LG as Rafa almost gets caught out in the Boneyard here. Some more LG. There goes the Pocket Totem for a little bit of mid-fight heal. And now Rafa on the back foot. 75 HP. Here's the sprint to the heavy. Oh. Good rockets here. I think that knocked Razy into the lava. Just it for a did, little bit more damage. and I actually thought that was going to... That Totem was going to oh. give... Uh, Razy, the opportunity to actually head over to Heavy and steal it away, but Rafa was right there. I'm not sure if he rocket jumped into position or just, just took the totem out and ran out for it. Uh, was looking through Razy's point of view, but now Rafa does go down to a very, very low Razy. He's going to get quickly back up to stack with a couple of health bubbles and a totem. The two frags separate these two. We're about to hit the five minute mark, and this is certainly, you said it was crazy, is definitely high octane. It's very hectic right now. Rafa with the much better stacks, but Razy has been willing to just stop and slow it down and let Rafa do some running and try to surprise his opponent with a rocket, with some LG. It's been working so far, so I hope he'll keep at it. Absolutely. I mean, again, Razy, no stranger to playing that very defensive style. He has the two frag lead. It's not going to be easy by any means, but he wants to get in there right now as he hits great rockets. Both players down to about 40 HP. The heavy oh. will save Rafa. Actually, the nails technically, but he wins out on the heavy because of that risk. And now Razy has to be careful off the spawn. Oh, trying Razy to play knew. for this mega. He knows how low Rafa is too, and he's gonna keep going for it. Hyper Blast from down below. Razy blow himself. Where's the shotgun from Rafa? The wow. Mega is picked up, and Razy lives to, leave, to live another day. And how can he not get Rafa now, who's just sitting on 25 points of health? He's gonna back off because he doesn't want to give up any more frags. Only one frag separating these two right now. He's okay with keeping Rafa low, but will it come back to bite him as that rocket almost evens up the stacks? There's uh -oh. the dual wheel getting caught out in the red room. He's going to deny the 225s as well. He just needs to find the damage, but Razy, massive amounts of LG, and he has the Mega, and this has turned around in Razy's favor yet again. A little bit of a shotgun blast for Rafa. Can't land the hyper blaster. There's the 50 denial rocket. Almost takes out Razy, but Razy does a good job of keeping that shaft on him six to four and rafa trying to get the refrag but it's going to cost him this will be another one and somehow the wow. nails land again 
Still wow, and too I don't friendly. know who that is going to favor right there, Forty. It looks like Rafa, as he comes out of there, grabs that LG and gets the heavy. Now Razy with just a super shotgun kind of back in the corner, down to 75. He's going to pass a totem, get a little bit of healing help from his buddy. And now the rockets fly out. Oh, into the air, but Rafa manages to LG him while flying through the air. Welcome to Razy Airlines, but Rafa is a VIP member, and he takes out Razy. It's now just one frag separating these two. This is so dangerous. Crazy's way too early on this Mega. He's going to grab the LG, a little bit of cess from Rafa, but he's going to know that he can double back to the Heavy, make it to the Mega on time, potentially fragging Razy for the tie here as he drops down, and Razy doesn't want any part of it, but that Rocket's going to give him away. And he has to skirt on over to the Red Room to fight another day. Still up one, but Rafa growing stronger over time here, doing good amounts of chip, leaving his options open for an attack. This is a phenomenal game that we're seeing here, especially Razy taking on Rafa, someone who's been so dominant on this map. We know Razy's history as well, so we expected this to be a good one. And so far, the dual wield has been handled remarkably by Razy. Yes, it has definitely earned Rafa a few frags, but I love how Razy is playing this one. Oh. And look at that, the peek and boo from around the corner, and that patience definitely pays off. However, no armor stack. Finally, a light picked up, and Rafa looks like he is uh, going to be on the hunt. We we still got quite a bit of time before this next heavy. Now seven seconds, and Brazy is just going to back off, knowing that Rafa is going to be a position. Yeah, Razy has no control right now as Rafa's pack-manning these items, but he's doing a good job of chipping a little bit and just getting the hell out of there, and that's exactly what Razy has to do. He wants to try and keep this one frag lead, if not extend it. This is a decent fight, but the dual shotgun and the Mega Steel is going to be huge into the machine gun here. Is Razy trying to fight back now? Machine gun on machine gun. Razy's so incredibly weak. The chip almost gets him down in the boneyard, and this is going to be potentially his final resting place. That clutch totem. Wow. Wow. Two in that fight in total. Very, very nice. Now, Razy in a nice position to attack the heavy here. It's picked up by Rafa, but he's super low. Rafa juking all around. Razy does tag him as he comes out of that teleporter. A rocket to the feet, but Ra Rafa holds on to a little bit of his stack. LG is hit against Razy as he barrels through and grabs that Mega. And now, is he gonna engage in a fight? Oh, over to the side, gets healed by that totem. LG does come out yet again. Pull players so low, but managing to stay alive. This is so insanely close. Less than a minute. Rafa needs to find this frag. He's going to bully Razy off the heavy. Or is he? Oh. Razy doubles back after he goes through. And he adds another one. A two frag deficit for the Liquid player now. As he has 40 seconds to find two frags. He's got to open this up somehow. He grabs the Mega. He only has LG to work with. And Razy, he could have done it here. As he has that a pocket totem as well. Yeah, that was such a beautiful play through the teleporter. Uh, I think kind of thinking, uh, making Rafa think he was uh, coming out of it and then right back through. Just amazing, amazing play there. And he is now going to be on the run. 15 seconds is all he needs to survive for. And it looks like Razy is going to take away a map. And will the reverse sweep happen? This is one step to get there. Six to nine is the final seconds tick down. And Razy takes his first map. And he's not going down without a fight. He's still got know. something left in the tank. Wheat, chat, make some noise, man. Razy, he pulled it out. It's only one, but it starts with one. Is now the series two to one in favor of Rafa, but Razy looking strong. You need four map wins in order to be crowned the champion. So, hey, that again, you, you need that first map to, to get the momentum going. Razy will now have it as we go into Molten. We talked about uh, this also being a really interesting matchup. It's going to be an Athena versus a Nyx and uh, should also bring not only some, some more great shots, but just some really smart 200 IQ plays, both players I think really demonstrating why they have uh, at one point in their career been sort of uh, masters of that map. It was just uh, beautifully done. I love the dance, Forty. Absolutely. Just insane game as uh, Rafa disagrees with some things that happen, but it happens. As uh, he's got to overcome that, Razy going to take a little bit of this momentum here into Molten Falls. Again, as you mentioned, Athena versus Nyx. It'll be very interesting to see how Rafa uses that Athena. The verticality on the map lends itself to traversing rather easily, but the Nyx, the Ghost Walk in his pocket, I feel like Razy is very, very good 
with Nyx. When to pop Ghost Walk, both aggressively and defensively. It'll be very interesting to see specifically how off the spawn. We've seen Rafa kind of push off the spawn immediately with these speedy right. champs. I wonder if this is going to be another case of, you know, he spawns rail, he just wants to hook across to rockets, do some damage on the mega, or how he's going to approach this. Again, it depends on the spawn, but I'm looking forward to seeing if we're going to see that kind of Rafa aggression to see if Razy's ready for it. Forty, I just got to say, there's a lot of happy people in chat right now who got big, big point payouts on that one. Someone said I lost two million points, and Ugh. that's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. But the predictions are open right now for map number three. Again, we're on Molten and uh, Molten Falls, and uh, I'm very excited. I, I personally love when Athena is used in an aggressive manner. Not sure that uh, is the reason it is picked here more for the mobility overall. Um, but Rafa needs two more maps while Razy still needs three. We might get our dream, 40. We might, might go all get the way. our dream. You might, might go all the way. I don't know if my heart can take it. I've been eating a lot of fast food lately, but I'm damn well going to try, Wheat. We'll, we'll hang in there. But yeah, lock in your predictions. Congrats to all of you that, uh, I guess, bet the under, if, if you can even call Razy that. And uh, uh, F's in the chat for those that lost all their highlighted message uh, currency. Yeah, but just taking a look at how it is, definitely Rafa seems to get a, a bit higher percentage, but it's starting to equalize. And, you know, after a win like that, I think we'll probably see a few more folks throw in some points Razy's way as we enter our next map. It is 2-1 in the map score in favor of Rafa. He needs two to Razy's three, and we're going to take it to Molten Falls. Let's take it on over. If Razy can somehow pull this one out, reset essentially, and then we just have a best of three, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. But again, you got to question the endurance. I mean, this has got to weigh on Razy. He's played so many games back to back against so many great players. And now every time you hop back in the server, it's, oh my God, it's Rafa. Oh my God, it's Rafa. So we'll see if that weighs in or if Razy just has what it takes. I don't know if he's slamming insert name of energy drink here or what, but it sounds like we're in the server. Uh, and we should be getting into it shortly, Wade. We should be. And although Razy might have shown uh, some concern uh, in the interview and even in some of the in-game chat leading up to it, he certainly is not showing it in the arena. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, kicking it off our uh, fourth map technically. And uh, we are here on Molten Falls. We're going to be looking through the eyes of Rafa, who's going to get a uh, spawn, allowing him to grab the Mega has another light and it's going to head on over to the heavy both players kind of like getting a feeling for where the other is right now and it's to be expected and we might see we might see a little bit of slow play here i guess it's going to depend on how things open because we have a couple rails being fired out and a very very close combat here over by that jump pad but rafa is going to back off as well as Razy. A little dangerous there, but we saw Rafa off the spawn. Rocket straight to rail, just checking, making sure Razy didn't get too crazy and go for the rail off the spawn. It would have been punished. Nothing doing here. There's a little bit of chip damage from both players, but the game is going to slow down here. A little bit of rocket damage is going to give Rafa the information as he pokes around, and he's going to be using these a lot. Almost finds the rail angle. That would have been gorgeous. It would have been. Both players have hit some pretty nice rails, but uh, neither have really been putting themselves into a position uh, that would get let them get hit. And the heavy is going to be picked up. Rafa. Da oh! oh my God! And Rafa How? was like, "Let me show you my ledge real quick." And he gets a quick frag as he rails Razy off the map. Here's another rail trying to string him together into oh the shotgun. My. Dear Lord. I can't even believe it, Forty. I'm but sure Razy can't either. I, I, what are the chances of that rail doing that nine times out of ten? I mean, it was just like the perfect shot, the perfect trajectory, momentum from Razy, and Rafa now suddenly has a two-frag lead. Ooh, that's a really Ooh. good rocket trap there as Rafa uses the hook to get back in. He's like, I know what just happened to you. It's not happening to me. Not again, as he has a little bit of PTSD. But he's still up two frags, two minutes in. He's got all his hooks on him, so he can get across the map very quickly. Takes a rail in the back. Great shot by Razy, trying to keep the stack low, chip away while he can. Heavy's going to be the next item to play for. I'm not sure that Razy's going to try and get there. He doesn't really have the stack to work with. He just wants to play off sound cues, maybe get the timing, and reevaluate and uh, plan an attack on the next cycle. Yep, and with these two frags, I'm really 
You know, I don't know that I've seen a single ghost walk. I don't know if Razy is just kind of waiting for an offensive moment to, to use it, or maybe I'm just not paying attention for it. I don't know, but it, it seems like it's just been ready and uh, off cooldown for, for quite a while. Uh, but still I following think he was Rafa. one to one? steal the, okay. of the heavy earlier, but. You know, uh, in this situation, he's he's holding on to it a bit long as Rafa could have chased that for a rail. And I, I feel like he's uh, gambling with his life here. But what do I know, Weed? I'm not in the grand finals best of seven for uh, stage two final. <laughs> well, uh, they, they did see that heavy grab, and that's probably why Rafa was just raining down rockets as well as it was about to spawn. Three minutes in, there's the mega rocket jump up to the top. There's that ghost walk. Going to sit on top, steal away that 50. But it is Razy who tricks Rafa and hits him with the rail Beautiful. from the side. A second rail, and there's not going to be an angle for a third. Ralph is going to have to run in low on health to pick up that heavy and up the jump pad. He goes, going to set himself up again for a fight here at the Mega. Just playing it so patiently. Razy just wants to lay the trap. He knows he doesn't have armor to work with. Gathering the timings off the sound cues, letting Rafa run around. And Razy's going to hit him with a little bit of the counter strike and almost pushes him off the map with a rail of his own. Strings two together. Absolutely gorgeous from Razy. But even after all these rails, giving up all the major items, Rafa's just going to be able to restack rather quickly. Here's the aggressive Ghost Walk. Wants big damage. Oh. There's a rocket. Misses with the rail, and Rafa's going to punish oh. as he could chase that down. There's the shoddy Pippin once again. 3-0 for Rafa. Yeah, wow. That was a really unfortunate there for Razy as he materializes right in front of Rafa, giving him the opportunity to get that third frag. And Razy just... You know, he doesn't seem like he can find an opening here so far. And I, you know, I think Rafa using the grapple hook mostly for mobility to just let him go from point A to point B. And he's going to wait for this heavy to pop up. A nice rail from above as well. Going to try to finish with the second one. Misses the third. And Rafa's going to have to get out of there. Unfortunately, that didn't work out too well for him. And, you know, Razy, he has set up some really nice traps, right? And hold on, LG up the jump pad. They're going to go at it, commit to this battle. Who's going to win? Razy comes out on top, getting his first frag, but he is low. After all of that, he went to the wall jump instead of the ghost walk. Survives with 7 HP, makes it happen, but you got to wonder why he didn't want to just pop that. Razy just standing his ground, not afraid, trying to establish some sort of defense here, saying, Rafa, you keep coming at me. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not afraid. There's the rails traded. Still has ghost walk in his pocket, but he wants more damage. And oh. Rafa punishes with a rail of his own. Yeah, um, a nice shot. I mean, had to take the risk, I suppose. And uh, Rafa just happened to hit his shot now. And Razy and Rafa sharing a similar stack, but Heavy is about to spawn. Went in a little bit early there. It's going to be okay. He uses the wall to kind of fend himself off with some of the nail gun damage and five minutes have passed great rail from Razy. was that going to open up an opportunity ghost walk is out he's going to get in his face lg oh. but no two perfect rockets from rafa he does survive and grabs the mega gigantic rockets there rafa with the dunks unbelievable five to one six minutes in and what does Razy do to try and get back into this he's doing so much damage but he's giving up so much of the map that it just mitigates rafa's usually healthy after it, and he could take these fights. Ghost walk back in Razy's pocket, traversing the map, trying to position for this Mega. Rafa knows what's up. There's the rail into Ghost Walk. Deja vu, you've seen this before. There's the hook over as Rafa raining down rockets. Mega will go to Razy. He still needs to try and find some damage. Less than four minutes now, immediately taking a rail. Rafa is just not missing right oh. now. Very dangerous. Here's the rockets through the banana. Can he land the damage? Both players weak. Next shot wow. wins, and Rafa says, I'm going to win this one again as his rail is tried and true and lands on its target. LG comes out. Razy really wants this frag. He's going to give Chase a direct rocket onto the head of Razy oh and the super shotgun as he falls. And suddenly this game is just starting to get away from Razy. I loved some of the setups that he was doing earlier when he could just slow it down and wait for Rafa to make it around. He is going to take a lot of damage, but somehow Rafa remains so slippery in this matchup there. Razy creates an opening. A rail does grab that heavy as well. Is this the time the door opens, Forty? The door may be opened a small crack, but this is a huge 
gates to try and lift open as he's down by five with two and a half, a little over. Crazy with a fantastic rail. I don't even know how he hit that, but he's going to go up. This should be a frag. Rafa maximizing damage, and he almost gets the frag. Razy had such a huge stack and got melted down to 9 HP, and now he has to be extremely careful off the spawn. Can't really go for the heavy. There it goes for Rafa. That's a fantastic rail, but Razy's still weak. Yeah, he is. So Rafa did get that heavy. We're going to have Mega up here in just a moment. Up the jump pad out of Ghostwalk. Rafa smells something rotten and answers with some LG damage. He's going to grapple to grab the Mega as well. And he does not letting off either. He's not really even running away. He's still playing as if he is down by four. But Razy is the one who only has two minutes to make something happen. And in the air... Razy goes, the heavy oh. is up and up, the jump pad to the rail, eight to three. Rafa is on fire. Absolutely on fire. And it doesn't even feel like Razy's necessarily making a lot of big mistakes. It's just going toe to toe here. Rafa is cutting his life into pieces and he's surviving like a Papa Roach, just crawling away with barely anything as Rafa weak again. Razy needs to try and find the frag, but how does he attack here? Rafa can just hook anywhere he wants. He's so mobile. Razy's taking so much damage just to get line of sight. There's a close up rail. Oh. Shotgun will prevail for Rafa and another frag, nine to three. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a rough go. Six frags separating these two, and I do think that... Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, he grabbed it too. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, after after such a great performance on Corrupted Keep, this is a, a definitely going to be a, a rough one to, to deal with and just going to have to reset. It is going to put Rafa on game point as he continues to just land some sick rails here in the closing moments of this game. And, you know, chat saying, oh, I think, boy. oh, off of the side, 12 to 3. But, you know, Athena in the hands of Rafa is pretty scary. Doesn't, you know, go too aggro with it. Mostly just used for momentum, but it's certainly paid off here. And uh, the Ghost Walk just didn't do a whole lot for Razy. As uh, the rails are hitting, and he had some beautiful shots, but this the cleanup's not there. A couple uh, last frags here, but uh, Razy fans uh, starting to clinch a little bit. Could this be it? Could this be the end? Are we going to see kind of what happens in previous finals again, We where Rafa may drop a map, but he comes back, smacks you real hard on the next one. And then, as you said, tournament point for Rafa. Razy's got to dig deep. We're going to go to Ruins. It's going to be Aizen versus Ranger. Uh, I just don't even Wait, know how don't to feel about Wait, don't we have Blood Covenant first? You're right, because you can read, and I was testing you, so I'm <laughs> glad that you saw that. As yes! we go to Blood Covenant slash versus Visor. <laughs> Chad, I like to keep DJ Weed on his toes. What do you think? I, I, um, I will take these For those following along at home. Yeah, yeah, I will fantastic. take these tests answer. all day. Uh, but yeah, slash Blood versus Covenant. Visor. Yeah, Rafa on slash. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I mean, you know, someone will say, well, why would you give, you know, Rafa a theta? It's like, hey, in a best of seven, you don't have a whole lot of choice, right? It comes down to picking the champions that you're going to be comfortable with and, you know, hopefully match up quite nicely. Um, I don't know how this one's going to go down because we've all seen it before. The the shimmy and the slide is, is a, a, a hard thing to hit. And, uh, you know, need to rely on, on those rails here for certain on Blood Covenant. But, uh, yeah, Razy with the visor. I don't know. What do you think? It's it's going to be a sight to see for sure as Razy's on that visor. And, again, uh, Rafa could be skating his way towards another championship, etching his name into that new belt for Season 2, Stage 1. But uh, Blood Covenant, brand new map. I mean, you have to mentally reset. Like Rafa always says, all the top pros, this map is done. It's in It's in the past. No matter what happened, Razy has to try and focus up. It's a new game, new map. He has the ability to extend this series, as I'm sure everybody wants to see, and Rafa absolutely does not want. Doesn't want to give him an inch of momentum. But Slash, again, similar to the Athena, I wonder if Rafa's going to try and hit him with that aggression off the spawn. We've seen countless times Rafa taking both items on the map with the Slash using the trail, traversing the map incredibly quickly. If you make one false move, you get caught out, and then you just don't even have control, and you're like, what just happened to me? Oh, I just got rafa So yeah. interested to see if that's kind of going to be the story to the start of Blood Covenant. But again, tournament point, this could be the end of the line, Wheat. It could be, and unfortunately, that ghost walk for Razy just not 
you know, not really benefiting him the way it needed to. Both players' uh, shots were on point. Um, LG was looking nice on on both sides, and you know, even looking at the rail, a sixty percent rail for Razy, twenty one hundred damage. But that was still wasn't enough just to show the level of control his opponent had on the map. That's yeah, I mean, look of, at the items, right? That's kind yeah. of the thing. Racy was yeah. hitting all these rails, and immediately after, Rafa was like, okay, yeah, you can have that. I'm going to go take this. So just kind of uh, useless damage is, is a poor way to put it, but that's kind of what it amounts to. If you rail someone and they just have an item to fall back on, did you really rail them? Did the did the tree really fall in the forest? Did it ha yeah, I, I exactly. Don't I don't know. But, well, uh, yeah, mental reset. For Blood sure. Covenant is a, a map that these two are both very, very familiar with. Uh, the champion selections are Rafa on Slash and Razy on Visor. This is game point, championship point for Rafa if he wins this map. So Razy needs to shut it down right here. Close the shop. Don't let any more customers in. Razy's got to win pretty much every single map from this point. That would be a win on Blood Covenant, a win on Rules. Ruins, and then if what an epic run this would be, potentially a win on Deep Embrace. It would be one for the history books. If if Razy can string this together, dig himself out of a hole, win three in a row against Rafa, it would just blow everyone's minds. I'm gonna say it's a little bit unbelievable, but we've seen crazy things happen here before at Quake Pro League, so never give up. Chat, make some noise. Is this gonna be the Maestro Man's last symphony? Is Rafa gonna take another championship? We will find out right now. Blood Covenant live between Rafa and Razy. The dream is alive, or at least uh, it is as we start this game off zero, and zero to zero. Rafa is going to quickly off to spawn, grab himself the heavies. We're looking through his eyes already. A rail on Razy up the jump pad, and he is not going to let up. Razy going for that rail himself, gets hit with a second one, and Rafa, you know, he gets on this slash, and I'll tell you what, it, it just, it looks scary. Right off the bat, relentless pressure from Rafa. Razy can't connect with that rail. This is going to leave an opening for Rafa. Mega's up. He doesn't care. Take the 50 shard and take this frag as the LG will land Razy. One last rail as he perishes, but Rafa up one early, under a minute in. Could be another one as Razy wants to get that frag back, but the rail almost in the LG. Is it going to be enough? And the shoddy Pippin again. Tried and true from Rafa. That's his right hand man right there. It is. It is. We see it a lot coming out, and that's going to be a quick two frag lead in the first minute of this matchup. I mean, you know, I, I think if I'm Razy, I want to slow it down a little bit, find my openings, but that's just not going to happen with Rafa on a slash, right? You have to have eyes in the back of your head, Forty, because, uh, you know, the speed and the movement in which Rafa traverses the map on this champion is, is scary. And, you, you don't have uh, piercing sight all the time, so you've got to be ready for it. Can we just talk about what we just saw? The movement on Rafa's slash is absolutely gorgeous. It's poetry in motion. Just sliding into everyone's DMs right now. 2-0. Razy down early. Did use the vision as Rafa posting up on the rockets. Takes a little bit of LG damage. That's going to force him back. The fadeaway rail won't land. Razy trying to assert his position here on the Mega. And the cross rail will miss. That would have knocked him down. That would have been huge. But that's really, really big for Razy. Does finally get a rail on the way out. Again, Rafa just taking every angle he can to punish every item he can as he takes a lot of LG. Razy needs to keep that damage up. He, he really, he does, and I, I you know, I like, again, Razy kind of surprising Rafa with the LG, and if he can just do that and maybe follow up with the rail and, and clench those frags, I, you know, I, I could see him bringing this lead back a little bit. Here's his opponent fall down. Rafa's going to quickly get out of there knowing that Razy has the better stack, and there's still several seconds until Heavy is up. And oh, the LG catches Razy on the way down. However, rail That's is a good hit. Push. Oh, Razy gonna go in for the kill. Can he get it done? No, the trail comes out and he cannot chase that. Unfortunate there for Razy. Big opportunity, but uh, Rafa put up the trail, put up the fence, and said uh, no trespassing. Rafa thinks twice, or Razy thinks twice, but now taking two rockets oh into the LG. God. Six HP. Oh, heartbreaking wheat. Absolutely heartbreaking. And we've seen it time and time again where Razy has the right idea, just can't land the last bit of damage. Great rail as he falls down. Rafa on the back foot now, 10 HP, just staring at that armor, knowing it could be the death of him. Razy's nowhere to be found. Oh, Never mind the rocket in the pocket. Rocket. 
nicely done by Razy from the top of the bridge, raining death from above to put himself on this scoreboard, and that is a frag he desperately needed. Forty, I didn't mean to to cut you off there. Uh, just, no, you cut you know, me off the, whenever you want, Weed. How dare that, you? That just seeing an exploding skull really excites me. Forty, <laughs> sorry. Whatever you're into, I'm not here to king shame here, but Razy's <laughs> trying to shame Rafa away from the rail, as Rafa would love another one here. A little bit of rocket damage as he jumps across to the rockets. Here's the heavy pickup. Potential for more damage in literally one cell. Sometimes six is all you need, wait. As the trail is available for Rafa, two frag lead four minutes in. There we go. Aka jumping up, does hit a very nice rocket, has a shot where his opponent's at, oh, and the boy. beautiful LG. As Rafa doesn't know, does he want to go up the jump pad or down the jump pad? And either way, Razy welcomes him to Razy Airlines, keeps him there for the frag. We're now tied by one great rail, and suddenly Razy has woken up. He is feeling it right now. I don't know if he ate a banana, but it is coursing through his veins, and he has made this a one frag game. I don't know what he's eating here, but Razy needs to be careful. It's very dangerous. Does have the mega bit behind him, but oh! he, he doesn't even need it. He'll just use the rail somehow hanging by a thread, 4 HP, and now he decides, oh, there's there's this mega, let me grab this. Nicely done to tie it back up. A couple of great consecutive rails coming out there suddenly. Like I said, Razy feeling it, and that might just slow Rafa down a little bit, a little bit. You know, you, you have that lead, and you, you kind of can, you can extend your neck just a bit. LG battle here, rail answered back, Razy. Fighting to stay alive, a beautiful rocket pinning Rafa up against the wall, but Razy is hurt. He's down to 41 points of health. Rafa knows it. He's going to barrel in. No, he's going to back off, not go too hard on that one. And finally, Razy finds himself in the lead. Razy finally establishing some form of control. Really wants this heavy. He might be able to get the frag off of it as Rafa does steal wow. it away, but Razy's going to take that frag up to 530 in. Razy slowly starting to pick apart this championship sweater. It's starting to unravel for Rafa the potential as he hits another rail. Razy extremely weak, trying to convert. Next rail will win, and there it is. As Rafa didn't have one, had to use machine gun and could not connect. It's a beautiful thing right now. Razy finding his footing now up by three after being down by 340. Piercing sight is back up. Razy has zero armor stack waiting for this light to spawn, there it is, and in comes Rafa. He, oh, the trail he does a huge amount of damage to Razy, and he's gonna clean up with that super shotgun. Razy still in the lead, but a nice attack, uh, and nice strategy coming out there by Rafa. Absolutely insane, just wraps him up in caution tape and detonates. Razy's still up by two, there's a good trap at the rocket damage. He's gonna want that one back, as now he gets trapped and Rafa tickles him with LG, and now he's getting closer and closer. He's gaining momentum, down one frag. Razy trying to do some damage off the spawn, keeping him weak. The LG down into the blood pool, and Razy's gonna get taken out potentially here, but Rafa can't find the damage, five HP. What is going on, oh. Weed? I love it, worth the piercing sight there, just to make sure he could secure the frag with the lead. That is good, he would have been down by one. Uh, and now is still up by two, would have been up by one rather. Uh, six minutes, 50 seconds on the clock, 40 Lions. And I like the intensity that both of these two players are bringing. I feel like the confidence of Razy has increased. The first three minutes of this game did not look like the last four minutes of this game from Razy's point of view. And he just looks like he has taken on his monstrous form. It does take a rail, but still in decent position here. Gonna have to concede the heavy. He should be able to get this mega, but Rafa's gonna be so quick with that slash, and there he is right above him. Razy doesn't want any part of it. There's good defensive rockets punishing Rafa for trying to push through, but that rocket's so huge, does have the vision to ensure that Rafa's not pushing off of that. Should be able to get maybe a rail or a rocket off of this. A little bit of damage, and that's okay. Razy starting to look at the clock now, begging, hoping that he could just try and survive here. Rafa going in, LG doesn't push him oh. down. Rafa gets in there and takes the frag. Yeah, and there was no rail in the hands of Razy, so he kind of was in a position where he couldn't really do much long-range damage at all. Rafa capitalizing on just closing the gap there, and now uh, he is just down by one frag. Nice rail coming out by Razy against Rafa. Rafa now on the run yet again. Razy's going to grab that mega, misses Beautiful that rail. rail. That one could have been the end of Rafa's life, but he will grab a couple more health bubbles and another rail down to 38 points oh. of health 
Rock that, rocket, low. that rocket gave Visor a haircut right there. Just skimming the top of his head, <laughs> not connecting. Still up a frag. Almost gets caught out there. This is getting hectic. There's the LG. Five seconds. Is Razy going to tempt fate? He is. LG on LG. He's going to get pushed back down. Great rail, though, after the pickup. Can he hit another one? He does! Rafa's so extremely weak. I cannot believe it. So much confidence in his own skills there. Rafa was down to it's about six points of health, maybe eight points of health. He quickly recovers back up to 100, but Razy is hitting some sick rails. Rails that I would not expect him to hit. He did decide to go up that jump pad. And that was a little scary, but he is staying alive. Rafa now. Just bouncing back and forth. The light armor now to the Mega. And I think he knows he's got to close the gap. And here comes the run, 40. He's got to be perfect here. He's got to get all 10s across the board as Rafa needs to find his opponent. Down one. Razy. He's just going to keep his distance. He's not going to have vision for 20 seconds. He's not even going to bother going for the vials. He's going to use this stairwell and just kneel and pray. Taking a knee, trying to run this clock out, trying to extend this series in Rafa. It's a matter of finding him. He should know. This is it. Oh. Rafa knows, but he misses with the rocket. Razy with a fantastic defensive play there. 85 HP. And Rafa's so hurt, he's got to stack back up. But time is of the essence. 15 seconds after this heavy pickup, will he get another opportunity, Wheat? He's going to try. Oh, he goes into the Mega Room, sees that it's there. It's 10 seconds remaining. His opponent continuing to run away. And now the other back stairway and a wrong choice is made by Rafa. He goes left when he needed to go right. And Razy takes another map. Seven to six. What a close one. The slash may be fast, but the visor has the vision and it gets done. Razy takes another map and the dream stays alive. Unbelievable play to be like calm and composed in that situation and just believe in yourself and be like, I'm going to post up here. I'm going to hit my shots. Really unfortunate for Rafa. That initial rocket going through the stairwell didn't hit. Oh. And Razy's a bit of a stairmaster. I wonder if ZSX is a little bit, uh, you know, jealous of the workout as Razy using those corridors, using those stairs and uh, taking this map away from Rafa, prying it from his cold, dead hands and extending the series. Oh, I mean, <sighs> That rocket, could you imagine what would have happened? I think we'd still be in sudden death right now if that rocket would have hit him in the in that first stairwell. I, it just, I, I mean, it was like a stone statue just sitting there. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, it went right past them. No opportunity for the frag. Razy got out of there quite nicely. And now we're moving on to Ruins. It's going to be an Ison versus Ranger matchup. And uh, again, Razy needs to win the next two maps in order to take this championship. Rafa just needs one, but we are getting closer to potentially. I kind of love it, Forty. I won't lie. When you play a best of seven and you get to the final map and it's just like, hey, those last six didn't matter. It all comes down to just this one. Absolutely agree. Still a tall order from Razy. It's going to be going against an Aizen. He's got the Ranger. Uh, the the basic play that we usually see is that turret down by the heavy, and that's just a fortress that you have to try and break through. Granted, Rafa has to establish that control first. We'll see if that's how he wants to play it. There's a lot of places to throw it down near the Mega as well to control the T mid area. But uh, this is a fantastic, I can't stress this enough, a fantastic performance from Razy. Again, you have to consider everything he's been through, the endurance to go through all yeah. of those players, all of those sets, and he's still putting up map after map on Rafa. He's the one that took the initial map off of him, and now he's still adding to that legacy, and he's looking to pry that belt out of his hands. And uh, you could tell that Rafa's holding on to it tight, 40. He is really does not want to give it up. I mean, yes, he's got the, the season one belt, but now we're in a new stage. And I'm sure if he could have it his way, it'd be Rafa, 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 Rafa across the board. But Razy, he's got different plans for that belt. Maybe this is the equivalent of him running in, sliding under the ropes with a chair and just smacking it up against his opponent. But he still has to win the next two. So, uh, you know, you can't be looking too far ahead. You've got to be looking right in front of you, especially with an opponent like Rafa. Totally agree. Razy has to be stone cold for this next couple maps here, but he could stun the world if he takes them, but it starts on Ruins, Eisen versus Ranger. We're hopping right back into it. We chat, make some noise, do whatever you got to do, get psyched. This is absolutely insane. 
Well, kicking things off, Razy is going to immediately grab that rail, lands a nice one on Rafa, a second one as well. And now will he chase? He does another beautiful rail, also picking himself up that mega. And Razy starting this one off with style and very, very forceful. Rockets coming out, the orb as well. And there will be the first frag going to Razy. That was a hell of a start for Razy using that orb for up close and personal burst damage, grabbing this heavy with ease, and this is the start that Razy needs. Are we seeing Rafa slowly crumble? It's too early to tell, but that sweater, that championship sweater is slowly starting to unravel. It is, and uh, you know, I don't know that, that it's ever, uh, if Rafa even is capable of unraveling, I just think he's capable of losing, right? He is, he is mortal, and Razy wants to show that. Uh, by being the God Slayer. One minute in, Razy with the lead, one to zero. He must win the next two games in order to be crowned the champion. If this goes to Razy, we're gonna be finishing it off in deep embrace. We got an aggressive orb coming out here by Razy to get position, but Mega is up. He just forces Rafa out of there. And the next battle likely to happen over near Heavy, but LG holding it up, turret going down as well. Wow. And we're still gonna see the frag come out by Razy. A nice LG pinning Rafa into the corner. Just such good rockets from Razy, and that Dire Orb is so aggressive, just shows that Razy's not afraid. The stakes are high, but he's willing to go through and follow through with his game plan. 3 HP, and he meets his demise, but what a frag down by the heavy. Yeah, nicely done. I mean, he knew that he was going to go down. He somehow still manages to get in there, uses the orb in order to secure the mega. I like that, but coming out of the teleporter, rockets hit. Nicely done. Oh, another one. Ooh. Rafa with the rail, though. And suddenly, this lead from Razy starts to deplete as it is now two to three. Razy still in the lead by one. Fade away rail from Rafa from beyond the arc. And that's him his second frag, getting closer to tying it up. And this is exactly what you'd want from a grand finals. It is exactly what we would like to see. The back and forth action, especially when it comes to the maps themselves. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Rafa knows exactly where Razy is. Razy, though, sneaking around, using the environment to his advantage, taking a couple rockets orb across the play field. And Razy will manage to get out of there. Very nicely done. He also went down to secure the heavy. LG on LG is Razy trying to work up those stairs. Needs to be oh. really careful. Rafa, that slight hesitation. He knew the rocket was coming from down under and it would have ruined his day. He does grab the mega, does take a lot of damage. Railable after that health bubble that saves his life, 10 HP. Can Razy find the damage he needs? They're just dancing oh. with the devil and Rafa's shotgun will net him yet another frag to tie it. He wanted that one badly. He knew that uh, it was low, but Rafa took a lot of damage even on that one. And now, oh wow. my God, the rail from the lower hallway, just as Rafa is about to hit Mega. And now Razy trying to assault it on that Mega. Can't force Rafa out, but does land the rail, pretty much negating that Mega. We'll use the orb to regain position. Head back into the courtyard. Razy still in the lead by one. This back and forth battle is what I came here for. This is what everyone at home wants to see too. A little bit of rocket damage sends Razy packing up the jump pad. It's gonna be able to claim that outer courtyard 50. We're getting closer and closer to four minutes in. Razy certainly heard Rafa go by. There's the drive-by rail misses. Trying to hit a little something, something here. There's the die roll, but it's gonna get caught on the ledge. That's unfortunate. Rafa sees his opportunity. Can he land the damage? Eats a rail, 66 HP for Razy, oh! and somehow makes it work. Razy just pulling out the rails when he needs them the most, securing his lead and keeping it alive by two. He cannot hit the rail at heavy, and Rafa's gonna walk away with that one, but you know, look at these pesky rails. It's gotta just be like annoying flies and gnats getting in the face of Rafa. Rafa starting to try to close the gap here a little bit, coming at him with the LG. And now Mega is going to be up in just a little bit. Razy has no armor stack, so he's going to grab the light from the courtyard. And the Mega's been grabbed by Rafa, and he's actually going to get both of the major items now. Not a great position here for Razy. Not at all. As we get closer to the five minute mark, and before that little scuffle with the two rails, Razy was shooting 75%. Rafa is shooting 9% wow. rail right now. 
And I hate to, you know, break it down to, oh, he's just got to hit more rails. But you have to hit more rails, especially in this circumstance. And that is just the biggest hole in Rafa's game. He can't convert that damage. Razy up by two, and you're absolutely right. Like, he's being a bit of a pest here, and Rafa's got to try and make his fly swatter work, and that's not how you do it. You don't want to ride the lightning like that. Just tempting fate. Razy's floated so many players. Rafa, no different. I just, I mean, I love the patience here of Razy just saying, I'm going to stick my ground. I know that heavy is up. And Rafa, I guess, just misjudging it, coming down. And as you said, riding that Razy Airlines. And oh, and another nice frag around the corner of the LG. Gonna, oh, a beautiful positioning here. Razy is just like, he is not making mistakes. He's hitting all of his shots. He's winning these battles. Might be coming out of them low, but he is keeping his solid frag lead three to eight now. Razy keeping the dream alive. This is this is just art right now, what Razy's doing. This is Rafa. This is the, <laughs> the, the Lord of Quake. And Razy's making this one look easy. He's, he's writing this beautiful Sonata, the Maestro Man, on his way to the seventh map of this Grand Finals. Still some time for Rafa, but a lot of work. Razy's going to kind of default into this defensive style. Again, running out the clock, making Rafa work for everything. Yeah, and it can, you know, Runes is a pretty pretty large map, right? A lot of places to, to hold, and Rafa may have both of the major items here, but, you know, down by five, he's got to be making moves, and Razy's going to now do everything in his power just to not let him make that first move, which he really needs. Uh, Rocket coming in, looked like it hit, and then a follow-up rail, oh. but Rafa with the rail opening things up here. He needed that frag. We've got three minutes left to go. Can Rafa bring it back? Plenty of time for the four frags. But again, with Razy's playstyle and the Dire Orb, it is going to be extremely difficult. But Rafa on the hunt nonetheless. He's never going to give up. He's playing until the 10 minutes here. Timmy the turret in the bag. Also a rail in the forehead as Razy drops down now. Rafa able to backpedal onto the Mega Heavy. He's going to be up in eight, and it's still going to be a matter of finding Razy. Razy doesn't even want the items anymore. He knows that time is of the essence. Rafa's got to put up four frags just to send it into sudden death. Yeah, and... Uh... I mean, I think Razy's playing this perfectly right now. He can afford to sacrifice those major items. You know, Rafa can have all the stack he wants. If he can't get close to Razy, if he can't force an engagement, then uh, that health and armor is doing nothing. It's exactly what Razy is doing right now. Rafa continues to prioritize the items while looking for his opponent. Sees him down below. Going to try to uh, give the chase. But another rocket jump up also has the dire orb to use to get away as well and this has got to be an era of frustration here for rafa sees his opponent again through the teleporter is not going to give chase that way looking for him still four frags to make up in less than two minutes Brazy's just playing perfect. He doesn't have to make any moves. Playing off the sound cues, no mistakes. This is how you win. Little bit of damage, but goes through the telly. Always has an escape route, has the orb if things go horribly wrong. And now it's just a game of chase me. Oh, oh and the LG, jump, there's the goes. punish. Oh, oh, Rafa comes out on top. I can't even believe it, Razy. Goes down, but three frags in a minute and 20 seconds. The gauntlet coming out. Oh, he can't force this fight out. Rafa is going to have to back off, grab himself the mega. The time is ticking. Just the balls on Razy to gauntlet him. There's the LG2. Goes flying sky high. Two frags, one minute. And Rafa, this isn't over at all. Rafa smells the victory. He's going to have the turret misses with the rail, and Razy has to be on his game. No more mistakes. 50 seconds for the rest of his tournament life. He has this in the bag. He just has to play it perfectly. There's the Dire Orb. Oh he should be God. able to escape. Good rocket there defensively. Sends Rafa packing just straight back up the jump pad. 30 seconds after this Mega Wheat. Yep, he's going to go down below. Does see his opponent there, but Razy playing this one perfectly. Riding that jump pad uh, back up to the courtyard. Great rail coming out. He's going to give chase. Oh, Rafa just a little bit uh, over his target. 
Now, his opponent down below using those rockets defensively. Razy just running away, does see that turret. A little bit of damage done, but 10 seconds left to go. And Rafa says, GG. He is going to confirm that this is going to go to the final map as Razy picks it up. Eight to six. 40 Lions. It is happening. We're going all the way. It's happening, and I don't know if my heart can take it. I was gonna go get my blood pressure meter out, but there's no time. We there's no time. We're going to map seven. Chat. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm losing it over here. This is absolutely insane. And again, this is Rafa. Razy is doing this to Rafa. He could get a sweep. Or it's. Ugh, I just I can't believe what's happening. We're getting the last map. It's going to be Keel versus DK, though. And I feel like that is in favor of Rafa. The Citrus is going to be flying, but uh, Rafa's yeah. going to have to try and power through the fire and flames to get this championship belt. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Keel uh, time and time again on Deep Embrace really have uh, a solid standing there, right? Can control the middle really well with your grenades, can be on the outside if your opponent is controlling the middle, and they are just perfect uh, to, to be set up for grenades right there to the middle. So, yeah, this is going to be not only an incredibly unique matchup because we're on the final map, and you can see the reaction there. <laughs> from what? Rafa, just like, what yeah. is happening here? But you know what? He respects Razy. And uh, I think what Rafa said earlier, you know, is that you've just got to look forward and you've got to, you know, not look behind you. And hindsight is what it is, but it's all in the moment. And this is truly Championship Sunday, any given Sunday where Razy has done what we said is improbable, not impossible, but improbable. The reverse sweep is alive. And you know what? Those other games don't even matter, 40. Don't matter. Nothing put the matters. money, put the belt on the line with a deep embrace match, Keel versus DK. That's how we right. like it. Right here, right now. Look at those rail percentages, 16 versus 64. And that about sums it up, unfortunately, for Rafa. But you're absolutely right. It's down to one map. Hell in a Cell, Deep Embrace, right now. Keel versus DK, as we're going to get into it shortly in chat. Lock in your predictions. Give your energy to whoever oh you want gosh. to win. And no matter what happens, we have all won as a Quake community. This is absolutely fantastic. Yeah grand finals but again i hate to harp on it razy's doing this through an incredible lower bracket run he really is you know we mentioned effortless to hang base cypher just took out kilson and now is going up against rafa himself and right now 40 the predictions 50 and 50 they keep going back and forth a point wow. towards rafa but right now they're 50 50 and, uh, you know, straight across the board. We've got bets as high as 250,000 channel points on the line here. Just throw them all in there. They're closing in about 30 seconds. We're going to deep embrace. And what a way to end the QPL Stage 1 Finals. Just insane. The bookies on Twitch are just losing their minds. They're spiking everything to the ground. It wasn't <laughs> supposed to be like this. What's happening? And Razy is shaking everything up. And he's showing that, you know, as opposed to the past where he kind of crumbled, even in the pre-match uh, interview, he kind of said, you know, sometimes when I lose, I kind of get down on myself. And he's been battling back through the lower bracket. And this is just an incredible way to show your resilience to the world against Rafa. Quite, quite... Uh, uh, obviously the greatest Quake player in the world, and Razy is showing him that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe after everything he's been through. Yep, he's uh, ready to maybe push Rafa out of the way and say, you know, keep keep the second place warm for me. Uh, I'm going to take first. You've been keeping it warm for me. So Deep Embrace is the map. This has been a best of seven. Rafa had the map advantage going into this, but up to this point, technically... Technically, Razy has won more maps than Rafa, right? I mean, Rafa got the upper bracket bracket map, but in actual in arena gameplay, Razy's taken three maps. Can he take number four? And this is it. We we finally made it. All of the maps in chat. Please make some noise. This is going to be the last game of the weekend, and we will crown a champion. Rafa versus Razy. What more could you ask for? 
Well, we're starting off with Rafa's point of view. He's going to get the heavy armor spawn, grabs himself a rail gun. And what you're definitely going to be wanting to look for here from a keel on Deep Embrace is just control with those grenades. And, uh, you know, he might also just really try to keep that rail gun out of the hands of Razy. I think that would be a, a smart move there, but uh, we'll have to see as the, you know, the opening moments continue to flesh out. Look at that, 30 seconds in and Rafa already just taking all the items he can off the board. He doesn't want Razy to be able to stack off anything. There's the rocket jump, can he cut him off? He's gonna eat a lot of LG as DK goes flying by oh and Razy electrifying, takes the first frag. It's so low. His opponent knows it. Rafa firing away at that machine gun. Razy on the run. 85 points of health will re-up to 100. That heavy is still a ways away. Gets hit with the rail down to 10. Hits a rail himself, but Razy so low in the murder hole. That's not where you want to be because that's where murder happens. He is going to still manage to get through. Living to see another day. He's got the one frag advantage. And look at this patient play. I love it from Razy. Just sneaking around, landing those grails when he needs to the most. Rafa picking up that mega. One minute, 25 seconds into this matchup. And Razy holds on to the lead. Razy just stacking these rail shots. Missing finally. Fortunately enough for Rafa. He does have the fire and flames in his pocket. If he wants to unleash the fury. He really wants to get on some armor now. His Rafa's stack just massive. There's a good rail, and not only does he get the 90 damage, but he pushes him down to the lower part of the map, and that's big for Razy, as again, he still doesn't have any armor. He doesn't throw out those flames over towards the Mega. Mega is up 15 seconds. Great LG as his opponent makes his way up to the top. And Razy's just got an immaculate control right now. But Rafa, knowing that he's low, going after him with the LG, will get his first frag off the spawn. Rafa landing a rail, going to try to clean up with the, the LG. Does hit a rocket, just needs to do six points of damage. And there it is, the machine gun blast. And Rafa suddenly takes the lead. Two to one now. The pineapple's helping him just a little bit there. Just the stack that Razy has to burn through. That's a decent start with the LG. Fire and flame soon. The pineapple will miss, but Razy's going to take a oh. ride on the lightning now. It's Rafa. That LG so strong. A little bit of rocket damage. Make that a lot here. Punishing for the rail pickup off the spawn. There's the fire and flames again. Rafa missing with that rocket jump a little bit for the heavy. It's not up anyway. So the 250s go towards Razy. Rafa still wants some damage. Gonna grab Rafa the heavy. Here. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I mean, with now a two frag deficit, I like Razy just playing this slow, landing those rails like that. It's exactly what he needs to do. Does to negate that damage, but of course, Rafa just answering right back with some rails on his own. Razy is so low right now. Rafa gonna rocket jump to the middle to try to regain some position here. Grenades go out, but all of them evaded by Razy. He is staying alive despite the fact this health sack's so low. The fire is laid down and the health does start ticking away. The armor is oh. picked up, but a single bubble will stop the damage. Wrap up by three. Does a good job to stay calm. A little bit of panic there as Rafa was like, oh my god, where's the health bubble? I'm on fire. Somebody help. But he finally douses the flames four to one as Rafa with a firm lead here four minutes in. Razy trying to find a way in, and you can't help but think, is this the Keel versus DK matchup right here? Is this, you know, is is this why this is happening? Razy having a hard time kind of getting around, chunking through that stack of keel. He's a thick boy. There's the fire and flames in the LG. That's going to hurt a lot. The rocket from Rafa down below, chunking out some more damage. Razy with the LG so good down in the murder hole. It's disgusting down there, Wheat. Just blood and gibbs everywhere. He made a good choice there, just kind of backing off. Uh, nicely done by Razy, keeping himself in this game. Four to two, it is not over yet. There's still a lot of time. Grenade on top of the dome of Razy, but he is using that LG so well, and I think that might be kind of the key and the answer to what he's doing. He's hitting some nice rails too, but that LG seems to be throwing off. He's carrying Rafa with it, and once again, riding the Razy Airlines. First class ticket, Rafa, his lead's only one now. What a rail on the way out as Razy claims that Mega just keeping the damage up. He has to do that against Akil and just try and melt that stack. Rafa's gonna be early to the heavy, but Razy wants a little bit more of that LG and why the hell wouldn't you when you're just Elmering everybody? 
rubber cement even. Fire in the flames in the pocket again if he gets up close and personal. He's trying to find some rail angles. A little bit of preemptive flame strike there, making sure that Rafa doesn't come barreling through the stairs. Yeah, it does give away position, but I mean, at this point, I think he knows that Rafa's got a good beat on where he probably is. Rafa now using that LG to try to gain himself some room. Only one frag separating these two, and I know that neither of them wants to make a mistake. Razy looking for an opening. The heavy is up, but so is the mega. Razy's going to make his way over to the mega. A hits a nice rail after picking it up. None of those hitting Razy. It's still a one frag game. We're halfway through this one. A little over halfway through, and Razy's got to try and fight as hard as he can to tie this here. Brothel with such an amazing oh. rocket into the tickle. Five to three, looking to extend off the spawn. There's the rocket jump to the heavy to deny that. Razy does get some rockets, which is nice. And a mega. Rafa's going to push in and a great rail there. Can he find another one? Almost hits it. 45 HP for Razy. He has to be so careful right now with his next move. Uh -oh, Pineapple's flying out. Oh, yeah, the LG again. Wow. Six to three now. And off the spawn. Ooh. Hit the rail, gonna send out all of his grenades. Rafa actually hurt right now. Could be an opportunity for Razy. He hits a rail, however. Down to just 20 points up. There it is, the rail that he was looking for. He's gonna get the heavy for that one. And he is very, very low. Uh, Rafa picks up that mega health, but it is a two frag game. Razy is staying in this one. That was such an important heavy, heavy uh, for Razy to deny there. If Rafa would have gotten that, he would have just tightened his grip across this whole map. Razy staying in it, two frags down, three minutes remaining, and, and my heart hurts, Wee. I, I don't know if I can handle this. It is pretty wild. Oh, two grenades go tumbling past. Down to 35, the LG battle from mid to low, and Razy loses that one. Rafa picking up another frag. He is now gonna extend that score a little bit, and as the time ticks away, Rafa has got to be feeling a little bit more confident, but he can't give up quite yet. Grabs the Mega to save his life and scores another frag. He's very, very low. Razy needs to pick this one up and regain control here. Unfortunately, Rafa getting away, using those grenades to zone as well, and he holds on to his lead and increases it by one to make it eight to four. Oh, and Razy oh! gets planted with that rocket. Pixel perfect precision from Rafa after the rocket jump to deny the heavy. He's going to be late on the mega. The fire and the flames will hit him right in the face. But the fact of the matter is that Razy left the mega. Not only that, but he's also got a six frag deficit to overcome the rockets. Taking him out and Rafa almost falling down into the Grand Canyon. Two minutes left, but Wheat, Rafa's starting to pull away. Yeah, I mean, a big, big pull away. It was so close early on and uh, really just showing the power of oh. heal. Another just savage frag off of the spawn, 11 to three. I think that Rafa wants to make sure that everyone knows to make no mistake, he came here to win this one and it might've gone every single game and Razy definitely, definitely tested his patience and his skill. But in the final minute and 20 seconds, Rafa is looking to solidify this map win and become the champion of stage one of the QPL here in season two. Trade comes out with a minute left, six frags. No sign of stopping is Rafa. Another rocket. The rocket's red glare. The pineapples bursting midair gave proof through the fight that the in the annals of Quake, Rafa will always be there. And it looks like you're absolutely right. Another belt for the liquid player as he's just laying it on. He did, no signs of stopping, Weed. Once you gotta no. bring the belt ten times and grab him off of Razy because he's just gonna keep fighting. And, and you know, I, I am already looking in chat. GG's are being called. A lot of comments about the game, but you know what? Never forget, never forget the maps that were played. Three incredible maps by Razy to even get us to this point. And yes, Rafa is going to be your stage one champion, but Razy showed the vulnerabilities. A gauntlet fight. Oh, look at that. The respect wow. going out from Razy, GG's, well played. Ladies and gentlemen, the QPL stage one 
grand champion is none other than Liquid Rafa. Razy gave him a hell of a time in the grand finals, but Rafa clinches it in the last moments on deep embrace and a deep embrace it was all seven maps unbelievable 40 i i know that we wanted the fire and brimstone uh that we saw leading up to this one in that last map but i will not take away that run from razy it was beautifully done and uh rafa coming from the upper bracket clenches it as stage one champion Razy made him work so hard for it, though, and that just is a testament to how much fight he had left, how bad he wanted it, and he almost did it with DK. I mean, the champion pick, obviously not in his favor. Could you imagine if Razy came back from that lower bracket and actually beat him with DK, falling short, but all hats off to Razy. That was an absolutely phenomenal performance, and he, there's no way, I mean, he's going to feel bad. Everybody wanted to win. But he, he shouldn't. There's it's just an amazing performance from Razy. But shouts to Rafa to also just have the resilience to get really tested for one of the first times and to do it on yep. such a big stage and come through. All right, let's take a moment to breathe here because Flea is like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let me <laughs> let me comment on these the, this series. Flea, you watched it from the sideline. Was it as exciting from there as, as it was sitting in this seat? I just, I felt like I was costing to myself watching the game, <laughs> screaming at some of these frags, but now I'm just speechless. Wait, I took some notes. What a brilliant series. I think this was more than anyone could have hoped for. Based on how things were shaping up, it really looked like Rafa was going to steamroll Razy, but clearly the Maestro man absolutely putting up a stellar performance. Going over my notes right now, the Razy wins just really stemmed out to me. That game on Corrupted Keep, the totem saving Razy time and time again. Felt like Rafa should have that one in the bag, but the ability play was so crucial from Razy. Same thing happened on Blood Covenant, where he used that piercing side to such great effect. And then, of course, yeah, the final map going to Rafa, very close for the first half, and then. The American just running away with the scoreline towards the end. The Death Knight didn't quite work out for Razy Keel. We know is a tried and tested champion on this particular yeah. map. Congratulations, Rafa. Extremely well played, oh, Razy. I can think of very few people who would come from the lower brackets who are talking before the match starts about, I'm not feeling confident in these picks, these bands, the, the maps coming up, and then still put up this kind of a show absolutely speechless completely with you a hundred percent like Razy's run is as impactful as rafa's championship win again like that fight through the lower bracket was so intense but rafa battling through the winner's bracket it goes all the way but a marathon from both sides it didn't matter if you're coming from the lower or coming from the upper that final series was indeed a marathon and uh, i think that we've got our champion of the qpl stage one finals with us congratulations rafa you did it again yeah oh, thanks marcus holy shit <laughs> yeah I, exactly I, I, yeah. holy shit is well right played. uh let's talk about that one right i mean it, we look back just to the quake world championships you uh had a very convincing win uh against razy four to zero and this uh you beat him again in a in a series that that took place earlier and uh you know he took a map off you but going into this one did you expect that we would go all the way uh this should have ended on Blood Covenant, <laughs> but uh, I I kind of fucked up on that map, uh, and he played he played amazing. Um, I think this now tops the hardest final I've ever played uh, because, in my opinion, he won uh, a not so favorable matchup in BJ versus Galena, and he won. It is not a favorable matchup to play Visor versus uh, Slash on Blood Covenant. It's not, and he had to pull off some crazy, crazy situations and plays and just like stay composed to even be in that game and yeah i'm just lucky to pull away with the win man at the end of the day here like <laughs> it's just yeah yeah Congrats. just really thankful so 
Just a, a fantastic display, Rafa. Congrats again. Another championship uh, under the belt, but it's also a belt. Uh, as he was starting to put those maps on you, did you feel any additional pressure? Or you're, you're always talking about how, you know, new map, new new kind of a wavelength, just go into it, reset. Were you able to do that? Or was it kind of lingering in your head like, damn, I shouldn't have lost that. Like, you know, as you said, unfavorable matchup. That should have been mine. Or just a, a fresh slate, no problem, kind of uh, reconfiguring and recalibrating. Yeah, I mean, that thought always goes through your mind if you lose a matchup you shouldn't have lost. But it's about moving past it, like you said. It's just getting past it, being like, all right, that's done. I can't do anything about it anymore. Let me focus on the next thing and try to get the job done. So, and uh, I really had to do that going into the last map because um, – just for some reason, I just could not get rails to connect on ruins, man. And it was... Do you want me to tell you what you were shooting? You know what you were shooting. Uh, real <sighs> quick to add on to that. Going into the last map, did you have any confidence because of the matchup? How did you feel about Keel versus DK? Um, I think that matchup, uh, you just got to be careful not to get in full-on LG fights with, with DK because I think DK will win that. So I was really trying to be cognizant of that and make sure that I had like a hundred plus health and armor if I was trying to LG him. And uh, yeah, you just have to like play around the flame strike because uh, it can be awkward for Death Knight to throw it onto the heavy from the bridge because of that like height difference. So sometimes the way that the like flames are interacting on the grates is a little it's a little tricky. So uh, yeah, I just knew it was really really important that I get the lead and I just like be this beast that always is stacked. Like, just try to keep him weak and slowly kill him bit by bit rather than, you know, trying to steamroll the game and things like that and just take it one step at a time. And, uh, yeah, it worked out to perfection. So really glad. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Rafa, congratulations. Do you feel that things are getting a little bit hotter underneath your thief now? I feel like you've <laughs> lost more maps this tournament alone than you have in weeks or months on Anf. We've seen Razy, Kilson both perform extremely well against you. You said it yourself, one of the hardest grand finals you've ever had to play. Are you going to start changing things up in the next few months, practicing harder, working more? I think, to be honest, I'm a little, I'm a little burnt out. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Christmas holidays, you know, coming up here is going to be great for me. I'm going to take a few weeks off, try to just like mentally reset. And then as, you know, stage two happens, you know, once we get to like week four, or week five, I'll start picking up my practice a lot more again and like try to slowly, you know, ramp it up towards the finals again. Um, because, yeah, it's been taking it's been taking me playing my best quake to win. And uh, yeah, it's really it's really stressful to do so, but it, that's that's the fun of it, man. That's the fun of competing, and there's nothing else like competing in Quake. Just second to none. Well, uh, you've done a lot of competing in Quake over the years, several championships under your belt, and now your name etched on the Season 2 belt. A great way to kick things off. I just do want to ask, you know, you've seen so many different champions. You commented that this was uh, one of the hardest championship matches that you've played. We do see, right, old and new in the QPL now, and I'm just kind of curious about your overall thoughts on the talent of and the, you know, the uh, the what we see in the players today, right? Um, it, do you think that we're seeing the the top of the talent in sort of the eras of Quake right now? 100%. 100%. I think this is the best, like, overall average of, like, Quake skill we've ever had, hands down. And I think it comes down to, you know, the fact that we're consistently playing week to week and uh, able to prepare for our matches and, like, learn from that going into the playoffs. But... Yeah, and, and that goes for all the the average of NA players playing together has improved so much in the yeah. last year and a half. And then EU, like just, yeah, just to say it again, it, I think the yeah, best collective group of players we've ever had. Well, Rafa, congratulations again. We want to give you an opportunity, anything you'd like to say to your fans out there who have been watching all weekend long and, and anything you want to say to those people who are like, man, I'm so sick of this guy, Rafa, for <laughs> winning all the time. Like, you get a chance to address them both. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm really thankful for my friends and my family who have been supporting me, uh, letting me know that they're cheering for me. Just all the fans out there for not just myself, but for the other players that are out there. Just, we love you guys in it really amps us up when you're cheering us on and uh yeah just really looking forward to the rest of the year and uh big thanks to team liquid for the consistent support that they have for me it's really helped 
be able to push myself to my limit and uh yeah i'm just really thankful guys i really am and uh you know all gas no break all gas, no break. Well, we are thankful for you, Rafa, giving us uh, just some incredible entertainment in the Quake Arena all weekend long. Again, congratulations and a big round of applause. I know that we Thank can't you. Uh, you fill up the arena with applause, but hopefully this will do. Flea and 40 Lines and myself. Uh, uh, congratulations again. Go celebrate. Enjoy this win, and we will be excited to see you in stage two. Take care, man. Wow. <laughs> Gentlemen. What an ending. Wow. Yeah. Go, he, uh, he did it. He did it. And, uh, you know, I mean, what a, what a, not quite the fairy tale ending for Razy, but gosh, still, I'm so impressed. I'm going to be so excited and hype seeing Razy come back in, in season two and, and, uh, watch the talent continue to develop. I mean, I mean it's heartbreaking, but he left it all in the arena. Like, yeah. That that was just such an amazing performance. And again, the lower bracket, the endurance, the fatigue, he battled through all of that, took it to the last map, unfortunately came up short, but he should be so incredibly proud of himself. I feel like it's an inevitability at this point that Razy is going to get onto the belt, right? So consistently making it all the way to the grand finals. Rafa proving to be his final boss once again, but the man has got such raw skill. And if you put him against anyone else in the world, it seems like he is unbeatable himself. So Razy, absolutely without a doubt, one of the greatest players in the Quake Pro League. Congratulations to him as well. I think everyone wishes him the best, and I'm looking forward to see what he can do in the next stage as well. Awesome. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone who tuned in all weekend long, memeing in chat, cheering for their favorite player, uh, betting on those uh, channel points. It's been absolutely a blast watching this. Of course, all of the players who put in so much hard work week after week. Uh, and, you know, uh, we've been able to watch those matches every Sunday. That is going to be continuing as well as the QPL returns with Stage 2 on Sunday, January 10th, 2021. Get out of 2020. We're going to see what happens in the new year. Excited for that one. So a nice break for all the players, for all of the uh, coverage groups uh, and the production, Bethesda, as we gear up for Stage 2. I want to thank all of the casters, of course, yourself, 40 Lions and Flea, Lethal, ZSX, Jackie. Thank you all so much for putting your heart and soul and energy into Quake Champions week after week and here all weekend at the finals. Want to thank everyone at Bethesda and Software who appreciate uh, the ongoing support, Quake Champions, and all the players out there. Hopefully uh, you're done and you're going to feel like you're, you're missing some Quake. Well, that's why you, you go play then, right? Go play. 40, 40's right there. He's waiting in the arena already. I know Come take is. all my yeah. SR, please. I beg of you. Any final thoughts? 40 Lions. Just want to thank everybody, man. It's always a pleasure to work with you guys. Thanks to Bethesda and PGL. Thanks to chat for all the pastas. It looks like a macaroni grill in there. It's disgusting. <laughs> and uh, thanks for all of the, just the support and the love. It means a lot. It's, it's always a pleasure to be here and have fun and watch amazing Quake. Yeah, not much to add to that. Go ahead and jump into the arena. Quake champions, we'll see you there. Thank you all very much for having me as well. Had a blast this championship weekend week 40. Thank you for joining me as well. Couldn't have a better duo to end it with. And thank you all. Well, it's been a blast. Thank you, Quake community, for being so awesome and being with us all weekend long. It was just great, and I'm so happy all the good, awesome entertainment that we got. We will be returning with Stage 2 here for the Quake Pro League on January 10th, 2021. Until then, may your frags be happy and all your games be in the positive frag score. I am DJ Wheats. We love you all. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations to Rafa, the champion of the QPL Stage 1 Finals. We'll see you next time. Actually, we'll see you in a couple weeks, January 10th, 2021, when Season 2 begins. Take care. We're out of here. Good night.